Hi guys, welcome back to another Q&A. Yes, I am in my pyjamas. Uh, when I'm filming my Q&As, I just feel a lot more comfy in my pyjamas. Uh, it's so hot and murky outside today, so I wear like loose clothes. Like if I wear like a bra, <laughs> I've not got a bra on. Um, but if I wear like, you know, like tight leggings and stuff like that and bras, I just get sweaty and all that and everything, not all hot and bothered. So um, yeah, I'm doing it in my pyjamas. I hope you guys don't mind, but I did do a full face of makeup for you all. I went to Selfridges over the weekend and bought some Cover FX makeup and because of that, um, obviously I wanted to see what it was like on my skin, so I tried it today. Uh, I used the Cover FX Drops, Cover FX Drops along with the Custom Block Drops. Um, I only used about like two drops each side of the face and it was a full coverage which I was really surprised on um, but then it is meant to like hold all the makeup in but it hasn't my skin is still oily and I'm not sure if it's because of the sweat or not the lady in cover back said about um, that it's meant to like help with sweat and stuff but obviously not shout out to lip monthly lip monthly uh, send me out monthly um, subscriptions uh, lip glosses and lipsticks today I am wearing this the actual signage is actually gone, so I don't know what they're called. It's called Perfect Nude Ultimate Performance Lip Shellac, but the actual um, sign has come off, but the lip gloss from Lip Monthly. And then finally, uh, I'm wearing the Star. Finally, I'm wearing the Stargaze palette by uh, Michele cosmetics i can't pronounce it it's a beautiful palette they also do amazing lipsticks as well let's definitely check them out anyway let's just get into the q a so brian mcknoll says when's the next time we are going to see you wrestle in glasgow uh, that is when someone books me in glasgow i would love to work for icw i'd love to work for fierce females again i worked for them about three, four years ago once. Um, it was like a charity event, but it was really fun. So I'd love to go back and work there. There's some amazing girls wrestling there. So that'd be great. If not, I'd love to just go party in Glasgow. Norka Mart said, would you recommend young women, especially, or men getting into the sport? I'm guessing you mean wrestling, 100%. I'd recommend anyone getting into wrestling if you love it and you enjoy it and you've got a passion for it. Adam Natal said, ever thought of crossovers with other wrestlers youtube or famous ones uh yes i would love to get a few wrestlers on my youtube channel i think obviously i'm going to interview my best friend katie at some point she wrestles his uh Chardonnay, and hopefully um hopefully interview a few other people um but yeah just like you know just see what happens type of thing as we've all got busy schedules graham williams said what aspect of wrestling do you find the hardest the physical toll on your body or cutting promos and interviews i find interviews really easy um but then i find promos a little bit awkward as i'm sort of like oh what shall i talk about when really i should just be relaxing like talking in front of a camera like this is fine but then when i'm doing like a promo in my character i think i overthink it too much and it takes me like a few takes so i guess that's probably one of the hardest aspects of wrestling um obviously i've had some horrific injuries but like injuries just sort of like mend anyway so yeah i think that's probably the hardest aspect of, me, uh, of wrestling for me uh, martin alexander said nadia when are you coming back to fierce females um I would love to come back to VSV Males. Uh, like I said on one of the previous questions, they were one of the promotions I worked for about three or four years ago. It was really fun to work for them and I'd love to work for them again and wrestle their new talent and the talent that was there back then. <laughs> uh, Dr. Nation Killer said, will you be doing the stink face? If you was in WWE, who would you stink face? Hmm. If I was in WWE, probably stink face for Kishi, if he was obviously still at the time, because like, you know, it's like my move versus his move, same move, yeah, stink face for Kishi. Um, and what else did you say? Will you be back doing the stink face? Um, I do it obviously in some matches. It depends what type of match it is, if it's needed, what type of crowd it is type of thing. So it varies. Uh, Big Friendly Giant said, which current female WWE superstar would you most likely to stink face? 
oh my god what is it with these stink face questions i don't want to stink face any female superstar because to me that question sounds a bit sexual like it doesn't sound like it's something for fun so i'm just gonna skip that question sorry oh big friendly giants also sent in a few more questions uh, what do you make if for Sasha Banks and Bailey story and um, if they write at SummerSlam who should win? Oh my god, you know what? I loved Sasha Banks and Bailey wrestle each other uh, two years ago. Was it in Brooklyn? Brooklyn, yeah, it was Brooklyn NXT TakeOver. It was a wicked match, just one of the matches which I've watched a few times. And then they had that Iron Woman match. So if they were to each other at SummerSlam, I would be loving it. Um, I'm one week behind on Raw, so no spoilers, guys, because I'm going to watch it tonight. Uh, Big Friendly Giant also said, would you ever go one-on-one -on -one with Ronda Rousey? Well, in UFC, Ronda Rousey would probably kill me, so no. But if it was working here in a wrestling ring, in a wrestling match, then yeah, why not? She looks like a great girl, but obviously I'd need to get signed to WWE for that to happen, wouldn't I? Bad Witch Show said, who would your dream... Uh, who would your dream wrestler be if given the opportunity? Um, in one of my previous videos, obviously, I said I'd love to work Tony Storm. Um, so she'd obviously be a dream wrestler to work. Um, and then also a few of the girls in WWE, like Sasha Banks, Bailey, Becky Lynn, Charlotte, uh, Naomi. Actually, yeah, Naomi would be wicked to work. So there's, there's a lot of them who I'd love to work at some point. Um, Obviously, in the UK, I'd probably want to work Kaylee Ray. Never worked it before. I've always thought she was amazing talent. So I'd love to work Kaylee one day. Bad Witcho said, do you like cats or dogs? Um, I'm more of a lover of dogs, to be fair. I've got a dog. Her name's called Sabre. Um, she's got on Instagram if you want to follow her. I'll link her account down below. She's so cute. She's like, well, I say she's American Bulldog, but I think she's like got a cross of Staffy or something in her as well. She suffers from anxiety, but she's cute. Like, even though she's like eight or nine years old, I just treat her as a baby. She's lush. Hey, okay, Mike Roberts says, what is your favourite colour? Pink. Uh, what is your favourite American dish? Hmm. Is the American dish like seven fried chicken? Because if seven fried chicken is like, like, you know, originated from America, that's my favourite dish. Like, just give me lots of seven fried chicken. KFC, all the way. Who is your favourite actor? Um, I love that guy on um, London's Calling or London's Falling even. I forgot his name though. Brad Pitt, obviously I love Brad Pitt and War of the Worlds. I don't necessarily have like a fit. Oh my God, no, actually Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler is hilarious. Sorry guys, I take that back. Adam Sandler is my favourite actor. Mike Roberts also says, what is your favourite movie, past or present? Um, my favourite movie is How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Oh my God, and that's got Matthew McConaughey in and he's one of my favourites too. I love his accent and I fancy him so much. But How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, I love it. John Tucker Must Die. I love Independence Day as well. I love like sci-fi films and stuff like that. Mike Roberts, well, the last one, two, three, the next three questions are also from Mike Roberts as well. So I'm just gonna go down instead of keeping on saying his name. Okay, so what's your favorite Oriental dish? I'm guessing Oriental's like Chinese. So crispy duck, I love crispy duck all the way. It's actually the first day of me being back on my diet because I'm like over a stone heavier. And now you give me cravings for crispy duck and Kentucky Fried Chicken. Who is your favorite music genre? So I'm get my favorite music genre is I love R and B, but like slow jams R and B, like old school R and B, not like the new gangster rap or anything. Like I hate gangster rap. Like I can't listen to it. I can't cope. Um, and then I love you know what? Just like music that's current. So I guess you'd say um more commercial music i love commercial i used to love house when i was younger um i also love head candy events as well but i haven't seen much head candy stuff around what is your favorite song and do you go coco for coco puffs no i don't go coco for coco puffs um even though oh, i wouldn't mind some coco puffs uh my favorite song probably like mariah carey we belong together i think that's like such a beautiful song i love mariah Tommy Kyle says, how easy is it to switch from heel and then to face any other way around? Who do you tell when you know? Well, obviously I've always pretty much been booked as a heel. It's so easy for me to work heel. It's like a bigger 
version of myself like an over the top version of myself but obviously like I just put like you know a bit of a bitch spin on it um I have played babyface a few times I'm currently playing babyface at 4 FW at the moment um I'm not gonna lie babyface is challenging um I feel like I'm coming out like yeah guys like I think it's easier to make someone hate you than make someone like you especially when you're doing an entrance and you're in front of that crowd like for like 30 like first 30 seconds do you get what I mean like it's like <laughs> you need them to get behind you and yeah, baby face I guess is um, a little bit hard. Main event player said, how's your wrestling going and how often do you have time to yourself? Yeah, wrestling's going good. It's not as busy as it could be. I get like different spells. I could get like say one month where I got like shows every weekend, like Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the weekend after I got shows and that's and that. And I get like another month where like, I'll get like two weeks where I got like no shows and then like shows at the end of the month. But like, I guess it's good in that way because the weekends when I don't wrestle I get to see my friends and family as in the weekdays it's hard to see my friends and family because I'm constantly working, constantly going to the gym and constantly dieting in the weekday so weekends is sort of like either kept wrestling shows or family so I guess like it would be nice to be busier but at the same time I'd have to accept that I'm not going to see my friends and family as much but I think I'm ready for that to be fair, I think I'm ready to like you know get myself out there and do a lot more wrestling shows and put that before seeing friends and family hopefully like you know if they love me they'll understand solo 77 on youtube says have you ever been spanked in the ring by a male wrestler either as a valet thanks i don't know if i've been spanked in the ring before like i'm trying to think when I, well when i've done wrestling camps i've always been like a baby face so i've had like the opposite girl gets spanked in the ring by like someone like Johnny Storm or someone. Um, I don't think I've ever been spanked in the ring before. When S said, would you ever wrestle a guy like me, a 230 pounder? Um, I guess, I don't know whether that's like an actual question as in like, you know, if I were a wrestler, like, like, like I don't know if that's a question like where like you're asking, or oh, would you wrestle like a 230 pounder? male in the wrestling ring so i guess if that was booked and that's the question yes i would but i wouldn't specifically wrestle you as i don't think you're a wrestler if that makes sense without wanting to like offend because i'm not sure whether it's like that type of question where it's like a bit sexual or whether like you know to so, like let me wrestle you or whether it's like you know would you wrestle a 230 pounder guy so um if you are watching this maybe pop in the comments below what you actually meant and then i'll know what you meant if that makes sense so guys that is it from my q and a i don't think i said literally that much today so that's like really good but i'll be editing this so like you know i might actually see that i've said like a, a million times but hopefully i haven't anyway guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this q a any questions you want for my next q a uh please keep them as i will be um announcing when i build you when i'll be doing my next q a on my twitter so make sure you subscribe make sure you like turn on my notifications comment whatever you like i want to hear from you all anyway guys take care bye